Mr. Yogesh, who is going to assist us uh, for the session. Uh, just a small clarification that this is going to be a live webinar, uh, but originally it's going to be with a smaller group on a Zoom meeting uh, where we, have, uh, we can have a one-on-one -on -one interaction with the teacher and the student. Um, over to you, Yogesh. Thank you. Yeah, uh, very good morning, ma'am. And thank you for the small introduction. Right. So my name is Yogesh and I'm from space. Now, when I say I am from space, it doesn't mean that I am from outer space. I'm like a human, right? I'm not an alien to all of you, right? You all can see that over here, uh, today I'm here to tell you about a small program, right? That is astronomy summer camp. Now in this astronomy summer camp, or in short, if I have to say it, right? That is space summer camp, right? Now, I hope my screen is visible to everyone, right? So now over here, what I am going to do today is, today I am going to introduce this program to all of you, that is Space Summer Camp, your window to the universe. Now why we have brought up this program? Because we know that uh, during the summers, as the summer holidays are near, it has been already declared due to COVID-19 from last two months, we all have been locked inside our homes. But one thing has to be made sure that a learning should not stop, right? That a learning should not stop. And here we are with the space summer camp, right? So in, you can utilize your summer holidays. You can learn the science concept or the, uh, the far better thing, that is astronomical concept. So how many of you have ever wondered like while looking up in the sky, what all things are there? There are twinkling stars, there is sun, there is moon, right? But what exactly is their place? How do they work? How moon gets light? Why moon changes shape, right? We all know that astronomy has given us so many things. Today, we all were here. We started joining the webinar at 10. Why? Because we knew about the time. But how did we got the concept of time? The answer to all of these questions, right? The answer that how you have got all the comfort things in your life, it lies in astronomy. Astronomy, the mother of all science. Astronomy, the mother of many of the inventions that have made our life very easy and simple, right? Astronomy is something which has given us a lot, right? If I start, from the time when the humans were not very much civilized, from that time, we have started looking up in the sky. And I'm damn sure that during the 24 hour slot of a day, right, there might be, even for a second, one second, two seconds, or 10 seconds, right, you might have looked towards the sky just to admire the color, the admire the beauty of the sky, right? Either it can be stars. It can be moon, it can be beautiful sunset, it can be early morning sunrise. And over here, I'm talking about astronomy summer camp for the student. But if I talk in general, right? So everyone, no one is untouched from the beauty of the space and the astronomy, right? So without wasting much time, I'm moving ahead with my presentation. I have a small presentation uh, along with me to introduce the whole program of space summer camp, your window to the universe. So over here, like to tell you about the program, like the first thing which I want to share with all of you is why we should learn astronomy. Right. So over here, four pointers I have written. Now four pointers might be, they might be something very, uh, a new term for many of the kids, if the kids are watching this, right. Or if any of the elder people are watching this, then this curiosity, growth, contribution, and career. So all four pointers, they are very, very necessary and they make up a part of our education system, right? So four pointers, curiosity, right? So why curiosity? Why we should learn astronomy? Because humans, right? They are a box full of questions, right? You see a new thing and a question comes up into your mind. You see a new movie, a question pops out in your mind. You see a new science video, a question comes out in your mind, right? 
second time how we are going to answer this so the to find the answer we explore right now exploration can be like we open up our books exploration can be we go to internet and search right so exploration can be anything but yes the curiosity the answer to our curious minds is astronomy right next one is growth next one is career you can take up astronomy as your career right everyone love watching moon sun right everything now that's a very uh, far off objective of choosing the astronomy but the basis of the astronomy you have to make from here right we all know seasons are there we all know seasons are there right but what is the reason behind those seasons astronomy right next one is contribution so when we talk about the astronomy when we start developing the things in astronomy right we are actually contributing to society right now let me give you a very 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 simple example of this we all are connected through wifi right i hope yes many of us might be using the gps systems to go from one place to another these two very common things these two are very common things in everyone's life but how many of you know that wifi and gps both are the gift of astronomy right so this was just one example right and if you look around yourself like even if you stand in your home right and you take a 360 degree turn right you will see many of the things right you will find like every time you will find something which is a gift of astronomy to you so this is the contribution of astronomy to the society so that's why we should learn astronomy right moving ahead in my presentation the next thing which i am having for all of you is i would like to start with a small quote that is equipped with this five sen senses man explores the universe around him right and calls the adventure science clear so what do we have if i talk about uh, in general what do we have as kids we have our own five senses it depends on us how we use it right how we start our journey of exploration how we start learning the things how we start taking up uh, taking up the actions right it might be possible one becomes an astronomer it might be possible that some other person they take up science as a subject it might be possible someone becomes politician but it might be possible someone comes up with very innovative idea which is helpful for everyone so we all are equipped with with the five senses that we are having and with this we are exploring the universe a very well quote given by a very famous astronomer edwin hubble who told the world that universe is continuously expanding right so over here right so this was the quote now moving ahead so what four things you will be getting now i am going into the particular details of space summer camp now let me first tell you about my, uh, my organization that is space india so space india is an organization which is popular in the field of astronomy and space science since last 20 years right next we have touched thousands of student every year pan india through our curriculum workshops sessions outreach programs right camps right and many of the celestial events clear now this time we are here with the space summer camp right because we believe that i told you in the starting we believe that learning should not be stopped right the answers that should be that should go to the uh, uh, that should be given they should not stop right so everyone has the right to learn and so everyone of you you can become the part of this now currently i am presenting the program for class 2 to class 5 students now in this program of space astronomy summer camp right there will be 14 online sessions i repeat there will be one for 14 online sessions of astronomy right there you can learn different concepts of astronomy right starting from the basics right to some of the words uh, or some of the uh, things that you had uh, like that are the questions of many of the people 
right starting from like uh, from the solar system right we'll move on to the sun moon and we'll touch even the part of rocketry okay so this was just an example which i gave right second thing is engage so it will be a live explosive interaction with the astronomers right so that you get all your question answered right because i know many of the student they might have asked their teachers a lot ma'am if there is this particular constellation at what time i can see it if, if there is sun uh, where can we see the black hole there like there can be n number of questions okay so that comes up into the uh, mind of kids right so you will be having a chance to have a live interaction with the astronomers next one is fun filled activity so learning is always incomplete without its implementation right so for every session there will be some or the other fun filled activity right and last but not the least we are here to inspire you to explore the extraordinary world of astronomy and so that later on you can contribute in astronomy and unravel the mysteries right now there can be many ways of that so we'll talk about all these things in our summer camp right now over here so someone has asked me that what is career in astronomy right so as you know there are different different fields like if you start with your career in astronomy you can become astrographer astronomer science communicator scientist you can um, move on to some other uh, lecturers that right? you can go for some phd's and contribute in science you can even uh, uh, go to nasa you can become an astronaut as well right so all of the things they are connected with the astronomy right somewhere or the other the knowledge of astronomy is important right now moving ahead so over here the next thing i am having is sessions the 14 sessions what all 14 sessions i am going to cover up in the space summer camp now each and every session it has been designed in a way so that each and every student right they can grasp the concepts right now over here it might be possible that a class 2 kid is sitting with me and a class 5 kid is sitting with me so you don't have to worry even for a second that the sessions will be up to the level of class six right they will never ever go uh, above the head of any of the kids right we have tried we have made the simplest session possible so that a class 2 kid or a class 5 kid anyone can understand it very easily right and to uh along with these we are having uh, multiple hands on activities during the session right now moving ahead so let's talk about the session so the first thing first right that is universe around us right now every student they have a question in their mind that what is out there in the space right so this first session will introduce the world outside the earth right that is the world out there in space right what all things planets stars right black hole sun anything whatever things are there we are going to discuss this thing in a first session that what exactly is there in the universe around us will open up a small window and see in the universe that what all things are there right then the second session it is very much connected with this that is the soul family right so we all are living on earth that is planet number 3 we all know but it is just a small part of our whole solar system right so in a second session we are going to tell you about the complete solar system in which we'll cover up all the planets sun their features their characteristic that how do they look what are their specialty see each and every member of the soul family is unique so what are their unique features we are going to talk about them in a uh, next session right that is the soul family now the third session after this is going to be my it is one of my favorite session that is earth our only home now why why this is one of my favorite session so just imagine 
we have eight planets right out of eight planets we have such big planets like jupiter and saturn in which hundreds or sometimes thousands of earth can put inside right now over there in the whole solar system out of that eight planets there is one planet only which can support life that is our earth right so it is very important to understand that what are the conditions that makes our earth a habitable planet right so we are going to cover up all of these things in a third session that is earth our only home we'll discuss what all uh, conditions that makes a earth a uh, earth a habitable zone to live in right temperature pressure uh, whatever things are there right whatever makes earth a suitable place we are going to discuss in this particular session right now moving ahead the fourth one is moon let's solve its mystery so moon is again an uh, a very important uh, celestial body right we all know it is someone who beautifies the night sky right everyone they like watching the moon right so over here so what you can do is uh, in this session what we are going to do we will learn about the moon its phases right what all phases does the moon show right and apart from the phases what is the reason behind it why it is showing the phases right so we are going to learn all these things over here in this particular session this was just one part of the session that we are going to learn about the phases of the moon we we'll learn about lunar cycle right and there are some other important concepts as well related to moon like why uh, why moon shows phases right why we are able to see that crescent shape clear next sun and its feature so the parent star of our solar system this is going to be a session number 5 see now you can connect very well that we are covering up each and every topic right now sun and its features so in this particular session we all see sun sometimes right either at the time of sunrise sunset right uh, so at that time it appears like a giant orange ball but sun is not a very silent person okay or a creature or you can say a silent celestial body it's a very active body right so what all features does the sun represent see over here the picture i have shown is the actual picture of sun so where you can see some uh, fire is coming out from the sun now what exactly is this feature so about all these features we are going to talk about the sun in this particular session of sun and its feature right now next one after this fifth session the next session will be three uh, figures in the night sky right so in this session what we are going to do is we are going to talk about the constellations right now constellations they are the story of someone's imagination it might be possible i look up in the sky i see some patterns out there and i can say oh that's a rectangle out there that's a kite out there so the story of someone's imagination we are going to learn in this session of constellation and the study of the stars it plays a very 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 important role right because the movement of stars only has given us the concept of time right so we are going to learn up all these things in the session number 6 that is figures in the night sky okay now now over here i am getting some astronomy questions so today is it, it is an introduction session right where i am introducing this program to all of you right and i'll take up one or two more questions so over here one question is is there any oud cloud beyond the dwarf planets so yes there has been a concept of oud cloud right still no one has reached there right hypothetically we have said yes there is an oud cloud but the studies are still going on to tell that whether oud cloud is there or not okay so now over here a uh, next session is universe through lenses and mirrors we all know if we have to look planets if we have to have a closer look at the moon what we should do we need a telescope but is the use of lenses and mirror is limited to telescopes only the answer is no 
So in this session, we are going to uh, learn about the, uh, that. How does the universe looks through the lenses and mirror? Who discovered the telescopes, right? So we are going to learn uh, all these things in a session of universe through lenses and mirrors. Okay. Next one after this is space spinoffs, right? So what exactly is space spinoff? In very simple words, technology that was developed in astronomy and that we are taking benefit of, right? All those things are called space spinoffs, right? So like I have given you two examples already. One is Y per second, one is GPS, right? These two are the gifts of astronomy to us. There are many, right? So we are going to talk about some of the spin-offs in uh, which are uh, which are very popular in our daily life, right? Next, after this is magic of magnets, right? So we all have, we all must have played with the magnets. I have played a lot uh, during my childhood, right? And today also, whenever I get a magnet, I try to stick it with some uh, iron thing or something, right? So there are multiple properties of magnets, right? And that one such property of a magnet is magnetic field. Right, and that is protecting our planet Earth. So that was in a nutshell what I have told you that what we are going to do in our session, right? So we are going to talk about the magnets, what exactly are magnets, what are its different properties and what is its connection with the astronomy, right? So in, in very nutshell, I have to tell you that because of the magnetic field, we all are safe, right? But how? We are going to learn up in this session of magic of magnets. Right now, moving ahead. Next one, satellites, Earth's companion. You all are connected with me through televisions. It might be possible you all are connected with me through laptops, PC, phones. Right. But what is the backbone of this connectivity? That the backbone is the network which has been set up. Right. The backbone is the sending of the signals to a satellite and coming back to us. Right. So we are having a session of satellites, Earth's companion. In this session, we will talk about different, different satellites and their purpose in astronomy. The satellites that we sent out for some astronomical purpose, the satellites, what are the uh, different parts of satellites and all, right? Another amazing session for you is rockets in space. Now, I guess many of you might be having a dream that someday will become an astronaut and will like to fly out in space, right? Many of you might have seen the rocket launches, but have you ever wondered that how does a rocket lift off? How does a rocket goes out in space? Is it so simple uh, like this as we see in movies that we press a button and the rocket goes off, right? So all these things, all the signs behind the rocket, we are going to learn in the session of rockets in space. Okay, so we are going to talk about the rockets. It's different part, it's flight, everything. Right, next one over here is A for astronaut. Right, again, a very interesting and amazing session for the students. They can give it an idea that whether they are ready to become an astronaut or not. Okay, so hearing the word astronaut, it's a very amazing word. We all get amazed when we talk about the astronauts, right? The thought comes in our mind that, yes, if we will become an astronaut, we would like to go there, there, here, there. Like, there are multiple things, right? Now, so do you think it is so easy to become an astronaut, right? This is the question that we are going to answer in a session number 12. That is A for astronauts, right? Next. Session number 13 is our home in space. Now, when the astronauts go out in space, where exactly do they live, right? You might have heard or you can see it on the internet that astronauts, when they go out, they go there for six months, one week, two week, three week, where do they live, right? So we have made our own castle out in space. And that castle is ISS. International Space Station. So in this particular session of ISS, we are going to talk about that particular castle that is ISS, right? 
and it's a beautiful piece of technology just imagine just imagine a football ground size uh, object it is orbiting the earth right with such a high speed right and people are living there without the gravity right so just imagine the life over there and the last session and the most interesting session right so this session can uh, give you the answer to many of the questions that can we survive on mars right apart from earth can we go somewhere else right these are the two questions which i have put in front of you by the scientists as they are trying to figure it out that whether we can live on mars or not how they are trying right so over here in this session we are going to talk about one such effort that is the curiosity rover a lab which has been set up on the mars to search for the perfect conditions over there so 14 fun filled sessions right each and every session will be accompanied by some or the other uh, activity right and Uh, we'll try to uh, give answer to all the questions that come up in your mind right like over here i'm getting some question so okay now over here one very interesting question which is there in front of me are astronauts and astronomers safe right so over here the answer is no right we'll learn about this in one of our session again there is one more question are there aliens in the space right so if you want to know all these questions right this is very simple answer to it come and join the space summer camp right we are ready to answer all your queries see that's what the astronomy do a kids they can have a lots and lots of questions right it can be tens in number it can be hundreds in number right so we as astronomers we are here to answer all of them right come join our program that is space summer camp a collection of 14 beautiful sessions designed according to the kids according to their level right now to end with why you should join the space summer camp right so first of all it's a lifelong learning right so over here after this session many of the astronomy related question can come up in your mind right so how you can start your journey of astronomy right so it is going to be a lifelong learning and someone has said it very correctly that whatever you are going to learn you will make use of it at some or the other point in your life right learning never goes waste okay so it's a lifelong learning for you second second thing is you can give wings to your imagination right so over here you can start your journey of astronomy and get inspired by the astronomers okay next so over here if you want to join right what you have to do is you have to contact your school authorities right you have to contact your school teachers there right they help you that how you can join the space summer camp now if you have any questions you can put your questions in the q and a box so that i can answer those questions right rest it is over from my side right let me check chat box once okay so now over here yes one very important question what is astronomy right now i have two definitions for this right one a very simple definition that is astronomy is the study of the celestial bodies right which is there which are there out in space now if i take it in a broader term astronomy is the mother of all science right so this is astronomy for you right now any other questions yeah i am getting some what if an asteroid hits a planet what will happen duration of the camp see there are 14 sessions right every day one session will be covered up
is this is this understandable for second standard yes ma'am it is ma'am or sir whomsoever is there yes it is completely understandable for second standard each and every concept that we have taken over here right we have taken care of the standards right each and every point which will be there in the class will be of the level of class 2 to class 5 right and next thing is summer camp will be in, uh, will be in school or mobile so it, will, it is going to be an online camp just like you have joined this session of mine you have to join the session of the summer camp as well so all the query is related to the fees and the duration right this thing you can ask from the school see it's like bring uh, someone has asked me that what is bring brings to your imagination it might be possible there are uh, multiple ideas which can be in your mind related to astronomy okay so let's say someone of you uh, someone of you uh, might want to ask us that sir i want to do this particular thing in astronomy i want to study this i want to study that how we can start okay if you want to take up some project in astronomy how you can do that that is like how we, how you can bring wings to your imagination okay any other question how many days duration of this summer camp will be of 14 days it's 14 days interaction with the astronomers so for sure the astronomers will be from the space india like right who will be those people obviously astronomers are the science communicators who can explain the astronomy concepts to you right so about regarding all the queries regarding the joining fees platforms and all they'll be answered better by the school platform right i'm not taking up any astronomy query right away here right so it is over from my side i would like to hand it over to karishma ma'am karishma ma'am am i audible yes thank you so much yogesh you're welcome ma'am uh thank you so much everyone for attending this session um you can look up to your screens you'll have a quick poll um for any other query you can also mail us at uh, scholarcamp at veladra.com uh, we will leave uh, the email id in the chat box as well Thank you so much everyone have a nice day Thank you Yogesh Yeah you're welcome ma'am uh. bye